Since then, Zamboanga City has expanded with the coming of Muslim and Christian refugees from Holo and nearby islands who fled from their homes to avoid the violence and conflicts or simply to look for better economic opportunities. As we reflect on these historical events and conflicts, we feel a deep cry within us. Why? How long? We feel deeper pain when we hear many stories of fear and deep prejudices, Muslims against Christians, Christians against Muslims. Prejudices and biases are mutually implanted in their hearts. Remembering and sharing personal stories hastens the healing of personal wounds. At Silsila, we find comfort in gathering together to hear stories from Muslim and Christian brothers and sisters. They are precious stories of suffering and hope. Annie Salvador was born and raised in the city of Manila. She married Manuel Ledesma Salvador, a native of Lamitan, Basilan. They had a daughter, Lilia, whom they raised in a rural environment where Muslims and Christians lived and worked together, side by side, as friends. This friendship was to be tested when Basilan became a war zone, a no man's land. Manolin Salvador, as provider and head of his family, risked many dangers to continue providing for his young family. He traded in copra, which meant harvesting the goods in the rebel-infested mountains of Basak. In 1973, during the dark and turbulent years of martial law, Manoling was caught in the crossfires between Moro rebels and the Philippine military. His widow, Tita Ani, remembers. Uh, no man's land ang lugar namin, para Basak, no man's land. Na, kailangan naman kunin ang ang kopras doon sa lugar namin. Pag makuha yung kopras, may pagbili yun sa lamitan, may pera na kami, may makain na kami. So, being the, the breadwinner, uh, siya ang, ang padre sa pamilya, gagawin niya talaga ang lahat ng paraan para hindi magutom ang pamilya niya. Hanap siya ng paraan para may makain kami. Kaya, kahit alam ko na diligadong magpunta doon, Sabi ko, sige, ikaw ang bahala, mag-ingat lang. I was so very prayerful na sabi ko, Lord, wag naman sana kung anong mangyari sa kanya, no, pagpunta niya. Yung panahon na yun, umakit na siya, hindi namin alam na yun, yun na pala ang panahon na aakit din ang mga military doon sa lugar namin. Di nagkasabay sila sa road, paakit sa lugar namin, parang basak kasabay sila. Nakipag-usap pa si Manuling. No? Manuling man ang, ang palayaw tawag sa kanya. Manuling tawag sa kanya palagi. Kapag-usap siya sa military. Pagkatapos ng kapag usap siya sa military, kanya-kanya na. Nagpunta ang asawa ko sa lugar namin dahil may, may isang truck, pati isang jeep. Yun na. Puno na ng kopras para dalahin sa lamitan, para ipagbili doon. Yung, yung mga uh, two kilometers from Parambasak, mayroon ng firing. 
inambos na sila. Lima silang magkasama, Muslims and Christian. Lima, firing na. Tapos hindi siya tinamaan, marunong siya magtambling, tambling, tambling. Yung malapit na siya sa may detachment, military detachment, doon, nakapa na sila, no? Kapa. Ina alsa niya yung ulo niya, sabi niya sa kasama niya si Sarikin ang pangalan. Muslim. Yakan. Ano man, Sarikin, okay ka lang. Tapos, pagsagot sa kanya, bigla nang tumama ang bala sa ulo ng asawa ko. Tumama. Oh. Ano yun eh? Nag nagkaroon crossfire. na ng kwan. Nag crossfire. Na crossfire na. Crossfire na yun. Na hindi na malaman kung kaninong bullet galing ang tumama sa ulo ng asawa ko. Na si, basta sa ulo yun, on the spot man, no? On the spot mamatay. Yan. Pagka Friday ng, uma, ng araw na yun, nagpunta ako sa simbahan. Sa simbahan. Madalas man ako mag-attend talaga ng misa, every day. Hindi namin alam, missing, missing. Hanggang dumating sa hapon, may, may, may balita na patay na, pala, patay na si Manoling doon sa lugar. Kung saan siya tinamaan, doon siya, nakahapa siya. Kapa siya. siya lang tinamaan. Siya lang ang tinamaan. Siya lang ang isa. Tapos yung mga kasama niya, hindi ko na alam kung anong nangyari. Ang, ang unang pumasok sa isip ko, humingi ng tulong sa military. Mm. Oo. So, nagpunta ako sa Colonia. Doon man ang military. Kung sa Colonia, yun ang lugar ng mga military. Humingi ako ng tulong, sabi ko. Na, naambos ang asawa ko kung pwede lang matulungan niyo ako, makuha namin ang kadaper ng asawa ko doon sa parang basak sa lugar namin. Sinisip, sinisip pa ako. Sabi niya, bakit siya nagpunta doon? Hindi ba niya alam na no man's land ang lugar ninyo? Sabi ko na paano naman, isa siyang padre de familia, hanap, hahanap siya ng panaan para makakuha ng kung ano lang, para makakain ang pamilya niya. Kaya umakit siya doon para... Para mabigyan kami ng, uh, ng pagkain. pagkain, hindi kami mamatay sa gutom. Mm -hmm. Ganyan, ganyan. Wala silang magawa. Dahil no man's land, hindi sila pwedeng magpunta doon. Hindi nagtagal, may dumating na isang yakan, Muslim. Oh. Sabi niya, alam ko kung saan ang lugar na, pagka, na namatay ng asawa ko. Tapos, siya ang nag-volunteer. Kukunin oh. daw niya. Pero hindi pwede jeep. Kailangan gamitin pahagad. Pahagad, yung pahagad, yung pahagad karo yan yun, maliit ka, paro, kuhan lang yun, ilagay doon ang kadaber, tapos karabaw ang gagamitin para i, ano, pagdala. Na yun ang ginamit niya. Isa siyang yakan. Isa lang siya. Yakan, isa lang siya. Hindi kayo pinasama. Hindi man pwede ka dahil no man's line yun. Kailangan sikreto ang pag-akit doon. Pumayag ako kayo, wala namang ibang, tata, wala nang ibang tutulong sa amin. Ang military hindi pwede. Na ang Muslim. Ang nag-volunteer na siya daw ang kukuha ng kadaber. Ngayon na, dinala, dinala sa lamitan. Malaki na ang, kwan, ang, ang katawan kasi Thursday nangyari, Saturday na namin nakuha. Saturday na. Oo, three days na. na meron ang amoy ang kote, no? Yun. Pagdala doon, na, syempre, masama ang loob ko isang anak namin. Paano ko palalakihin ang batang ito na ako na lang mag-isa? Alam mo, ang sama ng loob ko talaga, kung pwede lang ako humawak ng baril, I want to revenge the death of my husband. Sama talaga. Pero sabi ko, ano naman ang magagawa ko? Kung mag-revenge, ako lang mag-isa? Sabi ko, it is in God. No? Kay, I believe that God will take, uh, kung ano, it is for Him. No? Kung ano man ang, ang binigay niya sa aming kapalaran, tanggapin ko. Uh, listening to your story, no, it reminds me of some incidents also that happened in the Sulu area, being one from Siasi Sulu. No? For example, in the occupation of Holo, up till February 8, 1974, no? Uh, of course, we know February 8, 1974, the MNLF came inside Holo. And after that, uh, I think after three days, Holo was liberated uh, by the armed forces of the Philippines. No? So there were stories like that, uh, cross-fired, no? uh, many victims, uh, Muslims and Christians alike. And I was thinking, maybe it's natural, I said, for Ani to, you know, have some negative reactions towards the Muslim. I said, that's human, no? Because if I will put also in his shoes, in her shoes, 
as a Muslim maybe, I will have a uh, so little negative reaction. Uh, as is in general, no, the reaction of people, whether on the Muslim side or on the Christian side. So the, the Muslim feeling, for example, uh, parallelly after the Jabad, Jabida massacre, no, uh, the Muslim feeling was anti-Christian. Okay, and then on the other hand, uh, the Christian feeling, let's say after the coming in of the MNLF inside Holo, because they were also displaced, many were killed, even Christians in Holo, no? And they call them the Tausug, although they are Christians, and we are Tausug already. So they have also little sentiment, uh, negative reaction towards the, uh, the Muslims, the MNLF in particular, those who came inside Holo. Each one of us are wounded. Meron talaga sa experience natin, meron yan that we are wounded. And um, I discovered that in being wounded, we, we gain wisdom. The wisdom that, say, to discover. But the, the beautiful thing is, all of us are in search of real healing. No, the, the complete healing, yes. but the complete healing can start from within, yeah. and from within, like what you have shared, you 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 experience a real forgiveness. But how was the healing process? It was just you were just open to the to God's providence. If Muslims and Christians really can come together openly and have time like this, yes, I think little by little we can overcome these barriers that blocks us. I mean, to recognize that we were all victims of woundedness, woundedness. whatever, in whatever angle it comes from. Yeah. Psychological, emotional, economic, political, yeah. whatever. Generally, yeah. we are sharing the same yes. the same struggle but one thing that holds us and make us aware that this is a reality at the same time the desire to go beyond this reality is the faith my faith being a christian and there dialogue starts from god and brings people back to god this message gives us the courage and conviction to continue our mission of peace. This spiritual experience is the foundation of our mission and has become a great source of joy and inspiration for us to go on and share our mission of dialogue with others. This profound understanding of dialogue brings us to the source and fountain of dialogue and gives us the deep motivation to pursue this living a life in dialogue with our brothers and sisters, Muslims and Christians. In your own Lokut Lokut, it's called Lokut Lokut, that one, no? But the real Tausu or summer term is Ja. Ja, ah, yes. So it's made of rice and sugar. We have the power to change our life and we must nurture this transformation in the way we live our new transformed life. I remember really that time. And um, you know how in the moment we really do not make uh, many programs. We try to understand the signs of the time. So one of the signs of the time was to be immersed and to live the experience with the poor. People of all religious persuasions are called to rediscover the God of dialogue. Christians are invited to read the Holy Bible, focusing on the basic Christian concept of love. In these words, I begin to see how true it is that God shows no partiality. Muslims read the Holy Quran, focusing on the basic concept of surrendering to Allah. understanding the deeper meaning of mercy and compassion. The same spirit of dialogue can be offered to people of other living faiths. 
sore ya. Jadi kami